Louis Zamperini, the famous World War II POW and former Olympian, died Thursday of pneumonia. He was 97 years old. NBC has more on his horrifying experience in Japan during the war. During World War II, Zamperini's bomber was shot down in the Pacific and was later subjected to barbaric war crimes in a Japanese POW camp. Down to 65 pounds from 155. That was, it was heartbreaking. Zamperini was born in 1917 and according to him, was pretty rotten as a kid. But that's when he discovered running, and he was so good at it, he became an Olympian. Variety notes when his country needed him, Zamperini signed up for World War II as an Air Force bombardier. His plane crashed, though, and he survived 47 days in a barrel raft. And then he was captured and became a prisoner of war for two years. Zamperini was beaten daily. Zamperini was near death when he was captured by the Japanese and taken to a place known as Execution Island. They took great joy in telling us we were going to be executed. History.com notes his fame back in America may have actually saved him from death because he was used as a propaganda tool by the Japanese. He was released when the war ended in 1945. And he returned home a hero. He even went back to Japan later to meet the prison guards, and he forgave them. His unbelievable story of resilience and forgiveness was turned into the best-selling book Unbroken, which has now been turned into an Angelina Jolie-directed movie of the same name set for release later this year. Universal Pictures released a statement to Deadline on the loss of Zamperini. We are so profoundly sad at this moment. Louis was truly one of a kind. He lived the most remarkable life, not because of the many unbelievable incidents that marked his near centuries worth of years, but because of the spirit with which he faced every one of them. This is truly the loss of a legend. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.